and welcome back to the channel. I hope that everybody has been doing well. It's been a really long time since I've been on YouTube. I'm actually coming to stay at my parents' house for the day. I'll get into that in a second, but I just wanna do a quick check-in with you guys because it's been so long since I've been on here. And I wanted to let you know that I am still kicking <laughs> and uh, still pregnant but not for much longer. I have less than two weeks to go now. This is gonna be a very impromptu video, but I wanted to get on here and just make a quick video because I don't foresee me making any content on here before baby girl is born. So just a quick update, right? I have less than two weeks to go until um, baby girl is due. I can't remember the last time I checked in with you guys. I don't think I mentioned this to you guys yet, but I have IUGR. I was diagnosed, I think at like 31 weeks maybe. Um, so that's, if, you, or if you're not familiar, that's intrauterine growth restriction. So they initially noticed that she was small. She was about like the ninth percentile. And when you're, when baby is under the 10th percentile in utero, they keep a close eye. That's like, I think that's like IUGR or borderline IUGR. And then, um, so from there, they said that they wanted to do weekly ultrasounds and once a week non-stress tests but they only measure baby every three weeks but the weekly ultrasounds are supposed to be looking at like is your placenta um getting good blood flow is it perfusing is baby's fetal heart rate good is she trying to do breathing on her own and like kicks like uh, doing like making sure she's like moving um the appropriate amount of times so those are the things that they look at every ultrasound and then every three weeks they actually measure baby and see you know how big she is because they want to give her a little time to grow and see if she's growing so i think i was 31 weeks when i was diagnosed with that at, at, um at, when she was at the ninth percentile and then the next time she was measured she dropped down to the fourth percentile they were a little bit more concerned at that point and so they moved up my c-section date um, and they added on another weekly non-stress test. So now I do two weekly non-stress tests and once a week ultrasounds. So they've monitored baby three times a week. It's been a lot. Obviously, I'm, I'm thankful that they're monitoring her so well. And again, they look at those four things every time. The placenta, the fetal heart rate, the kicks, and her breathing, if she's trying to breathe on her own. And if any of those ever start to look like she's not doing what they expect, then they would just basically deliver me right then. They would send me to the hospital. One of my non-stress tests is always in the hospital, but regardless, what I'm saying is if any of those started to decline, they would actually just section me then and they would take her out. But every time that I've gone to any of these appointments, other than her being small, she's doing wonderfully on everything else. So that's been really reassuring. And I mean, I am, like, I'm a small person and my husband's not a very big guy. We come from... Well, his side he does have some big people on his side but i have like no big people on my side i'm five feet and i'm pretty like small like structured and he's like five eight and so we never make made big babies anyway my oldest son was 5 13 when he was born and my younger one was 6 13 and so i mean like big baby was never in our cards but she's definitely smaller than they still want her to be the last time i was measured she was just just under four pounds so i mean she's small but it's been almost three weeks now so i'll be curious to see you know how much she's gained i just want her to be like five something i'm really hoping that we can get her there so yeah they said it's nothing that i'm doing they said it could be maybe related to because i had a lot of thyroid problems um early on in my pregnancy and then also i'm considered like advanced maternal age which is like a kick in the teeth but because I did, I just turned 35 this October. So technically that's like in pregnancy world, that's, you know, advanced maternal age, or even some people refer to it as geriatric pregnancy, which I'm like, that's rude. <laughs> I think we can come up with a better term than that. But uh, yeah, so they said it could be related to that. Like, cause I eat, I mean, they said it's not that. Like, and my placenta is fine, so it's not that. So I don't know, but anyway, we're watching baby very closely. She's extremely active and kicks all the time, which makes me feel good. I can always feel her. So it's just been a, a roller coaster a little bit. And then I just wanted to give like a quick little life update on here too, to let you guys know how things are going. So one, I thought I'd tell you guys. So the reason I'm at my uh, parents for the day, my nose itches, I'm sorry. The reason I'm at my parents for the day is 
we had a fun little incident yesterday my dog went outside and was sprayed by a skunk and then came through our house and so everything smelled it was if you have you if you ever had a dog or anything that's been sprayed by a skunk I have never, and I, I'm an, you know, I was a nurse for years. I mean, I'm still a nurse, but I mean like bedside nurse. I've done some stuff, right? That's gross. I think that might've been the worst smell I've ever smelled. It was not like when you smell a skunk on the side of the road. No, no, no. It was the most rancid, like my nose was burning from the smell. And so anyway, I have some people coming over my house today to wash our carpets and our furniture. And then I have our cleaning lady because I have been having a cleaning lady bi-weekly because I just can't keep up. Our cleaning lady is coming over for like an emergency cleaning the following day. And we had to do like a bunch of washes on my dog. And we have like boiling vinegar, which actually seemed to work really well. Boiling vinegar, a pot of vinegar in the house, that seemed to help with the smell. But yeah, it's been... It's been a pain in the butt. We live in like, we live on an acre of land, kind of like in the a woodsy area on a dirt road. And so we get nature, lots of, you know, little animals and stuff. This is the first that we've ever dealt with a, a skunk. And it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but it's ironic because my last pregnancy was with Jackson and that was right when we moved into the house. And we were coming from like these townhouses that were like pretty like in the city and we didn't really have a lot of nature or anything like that and so we just weren't used to all the stuff that comes with living in the woods and so when we moved out to that house i was pregnant with jack and my dog got fleas and brought fleas into our house and we had to go through so much to get rid of those are really hard to get rid of honestly fleas were worse than the skunk but and now my dog brought the skunk smell in We've never had fleas to deal with fleas since then because we know all the stuff that we should know now living out more in the country. Um, you live and you learn. But yeah, so I, I it's just been, it's been funny and not funny at the same time. It was a mess. Anyway, so that's what's happening right now is my house is basically getting cleaned to hopefully make it smell nice and brand new again and be nice and clean for when baby girl comes. Couple of quick more updates. I did get a new car that can fit more kids <laughs> so that i literally went into the dealership and i was like i need a new car that can fit more children because my crv that i was driving before was uh just not going to work with three kids so i got a what is it a gmc acadia so it does have like a third row um it it's nice i'm excited about it we have like two what is it called like pilot seats or something in the middle and then we have a bench in the back seat and so that's i'm really that's been nice because we had to do that before she came we got all of our baby stuff pretty much everything that we need i'm excited to i mean i haven't i'm not nearly as organized as i was with the boys but i also know going into this pregnancy that you really don't need as much as you think you need like i really overdid it with both boys honestly like i don't have a nursery for her but she'll be in our room for the first like almost what six months probably so we've got more clothes than we could ever possibly need you know we got we got the snoo bassinet my girlfriend had it and i purchased it off of her for a really good deal so i'm excited to use that and got the car seat and the stroller we got all the essentials i got a breast pump coming i got through my insurance packed our hospital bag so that made it feel really real and so like we're definitely ready for her i'm just a little anxious going forward about the c-section i have a little bit of an anxiety that came back but more than anything i just want to hold her and be on the other side of things and i'm just so excited so less than two weeks until she's here we still haven't 100 percent settled on a name which is also very unlike what it was with the boys. When I had my boys, I knew what I wanted to name them by 20 weeks pregnant. And this one, it, she's, I've had a really hard time. We have a list of names. There's a, like one name in particular that we're pretty settled on, but we'll see. I wanted to, I want to see her and hold her before I'm like 100%. So that's kind of funny. We don't have a name for her yet. And yeah, that's like my pregnancy update. It's been fun. <laughs> Definitely my last pregnancy, so. I just can't wait for her to be here. Anyway, I think that's going to be all for today's video. Uh, if you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments down below. 
I hope that everybody is doing well. I know I haven't been on here in a while. I do want to get back on here. It's just been really hard at the end of this pregnancy doing anything. And I've been doing some stuff like on my business side of things through like Patreon and stuff. If you follow me long enough to know, you know that I, I have a review course for the AANP and the ANCC exams for nurse practitioner students. And I did get that licensed and I have been doing a lot of stuff like on the business aspect of things. So YouTube has taken like a back seat a little bit, but like I honestly, YouTube is still like my favorite platform to use and I want to get back on here. It's just balancing the kids and their activities and my business and being extremely pregnant and having to be going to the doctors or the hospital three times a week. It's just been near impossible to keep up with everything, but eventually I want to get back on here more. I do miss YouTube. I like talking to you guys and making these videos. I know this is kind of a crappy video. It's not like anything fancy, but I did want to just check in with you guys and say, hey, wish me luck for this delivery. Um, send all the good vibes. Can't wait for her to be here and I'll let you guys know when she's born. But until next time, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Hopefully everybody is enjoying this beautiful fall weather, wherever you are. Hopefully it's just as pretty, but here in Michigan, it's like stunning right now. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye.